welcome to Tata Nagar Kana, our North Indian exclusive uh, cuisine series. And today's episode, we'll be watching how to do Navratan Kurma. Uh, for Navratan Kurma, the ingredients, dry ingredients we require. Two tablespoon coriander powder, garam masala, chili powder and turmeric powder. And we need one cup finely chopped onion, garlic and one inch ginger finely chopped. Three green chilies, medium size. And veg, veggies, we can take uh, beans, cauliflower, carrot, capsicum, paneer and you can also add green peas and potato. Green peas and also potato. You can take a um, quarter cup of medium size. and two tomato puree. Now in a pan, add two tablespoon of oil, add one teaspoon of jeera and the onion and fry it till golden brown and make it to paste. Now in the pan, same pan you can add uh, all the veggies one by one and dry fry it. You should fry it only till it is half boiled. And for the cashew paste, you'll have to soak red chili and cashew nut for 10 to 15 minutes and then make it into a paste. Now we are frying the veggies. Uh, please don't add any water and you should not mash it. We'll have to only cook till it is half done. And you can remove it from the pan. it is half boiled. On the same pan add two tablespoon of uh, oil. Add the garlic, ginger, green chilies and ginger garlic paste. It is optional and fry it nicely. the ginger garlic paste and make it as um, uh, in the medium flame or the low, low flame because uh, once we add ginger garlic paste it tend to get you know uh, burnt up so add it carefully now add dry masalas one by one and fry it for one or two minutes And fry it till the you no know, oil gets separated out. If you want, you can add a little bit of oil. Add the tomato puree. Cook till the oil separates, uh, and then you can add uh, one or two teaspoon as per uh, your taste salt, and then cook it for three four minutes. 
till the oil separates out on the sides of the pan. the veggies and uh, fry it for two to three minutes and then you can cover add water and cover it and cook it Cover it and cook it for 5 minutes. Now can add the cashew paste. Cook for 2 to 3 minutes. And based on the gravy, if you want thick, you can um, you know, add less water. If you want uh, you know, uh, uh, very, uh, like, you know, thin gravy, you can add it. And you can add kasturi methi at the end of this. And... Uh, you can add half cup fresh milk cream if you like it it's optional and mix it and allow it for boil for two three minutes and garnish with coriander now the kurma is ready you can have it with roti naan anything and also jeera rice pulao it's very tasty gravy and it will be less spicy also. Kids will love it. Now Ritin Kurma is ready. You can serve it with roti, naan, jeera, rice, pulao. Hope you guys like this video. Please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video.